have you ever used raw African black soap in a cold process soap? Well, in today's video, I am taking four soaps and redesigning them using raw African black and soap. In the cold process soap method, I am also going to be adding some additives that's going to be boosting the skin benefit. If you're ready for the journey, let's get started. Hello everybody, my name is Natasia and welcome to Natasia Suds and Scents. In today's video, we're using raw African black soap as an additive in our cold process soap. And we're gonna rock out four designs using this soap. I'm trying to challenge myself because this additive is not easy to design in cold process soap. As you can see, we have our turmeric and ginger infused with sunflower oil. And I use about one ounce and 15 ounces of oil. I am now adding one ounce of aloe vera. This is gonna help loosen our African soap batter and also help fight acne, kill bacteria, and moisturize the skin. And now I'm adding one ounce of rice milk. Now if you haven't seen how I made rice milk before or my rice milk video, how dare you? I will provide the link for you to watch. If you haven't seen that video, you're missing out because that so came out so creamy oh my gosh you guys i have three containers each have 15 ounces of oils and butters which include shea butter cocoa butter avocado oil etc and i have my additives in each one and for those of you who are interested i'll be showing the recipe later on in the video So I'm going to be showing you how I do two designs, but I'm going to do four soap cuts. So stay tuned for that. The idea behind doing this design, I just wanted to do like these circles. Look how beautiful, guys. Just look how beautiful that turmeric inside that soap batter looks. But guess what? <laughs> it does not stay that color now i've made turmeric and ginger african black soap before and i should know that you want to see what happens after the soap cures and you want to see what the turmeric color does stay tuned to the end of the video but you still get the benefits of turmeric inside the soap it's just that that beautiful burnt orange color doesn't stay and i forgot so my whole design in my brain i'm like okay this look nice it's give it's very it's giving me very much giraffe <laughs> i mean this is an african black soap cold process soap and i am doing a giraffe print design i mean guys i didn't plan it like that but i'm gonna pretend like i did <laughs> now let me stop. <laughs> let me stop but this soap came out beautiful and the whole idea is just to do I wanted each soap batter to go inside each other. So I wanted the white, then the turmeric layer, then the African black soap. And this is why the aloe vera works so well inside that the portion of the oils that had the, the raw African black soap because it helps it to stay fluid enough so that I can create this beautiful design. In this soap, we got our raw African black soap, we have our aloe vera, we have our rice milk, we have our turmeric and ginger powder, and we have kaolin clay. Now kaolin clay is great to use in soap because it helps to absorb impurities and toxins and dirt from your skin without making your skin extra dry. Now turmeric or turmeric powder is great to put in soap because it helps to brighten your skin it helps to even your skin tone and it gives you like a clearer skin appearance. Also, because of its anti-inflammatory properties, it helps your wounds to heal quicker. Now this is the second loaf that I'm going to show you how I create the design. And I decided to use Himalayan rhubarb as a natural botanical colorant for this soap. Himalayan rhubarb is supposed to give like a pinkish reddish tone. Depending on how much of it you use in your cold process soap, you'll get either deeper, richer red. I didn't use enough to get a deep, a deep enough red, which I was going for, but it's okay. This design actually came out nice too. I kind of wish that I used a glass rod and moved some of the batter around inside so the design was a little bit more intricate. 
but this this loaf actually came out really nice too again we use all the same additives we use the turmeric and ginger we use our rice milk aloe vera and of course the star of the show which is the raw african black soap Now, why African black soap? Well, for those of you who haven't had the pleasure of being introduced to raw African black soap, it is a natural made soap that's origins originate in Africa and is made with a lot of plant matter such as shea butter, cocoa pod, palm kernel oil, plantain skin, and ash. And they take this product, they boil it, they process it, into soap and it's excellent for your skin it naturally has vitamin a and vitamin e contact in it would make it perfect for reducing inflammation and healing skin ailments such as razor bumps acne hyperpigmentation things like that now if you've seen my previous videos I always talk about how when i was growing up anytime a pimple anything pop on your face you can't even walk into the classroom without somebody saying, oh, you gotta get the African black soap. You gotta get the black soap. Just in case you thought you was hiding that little pimple under something, somebody will be all pointing it out like you didn't wash your face. I mean, it's really good at pulling impurities and oils out you of your skin. You can use it by itself. You don't need to put it in cold process soap. I just thought it'd be a great marriage between the two and I can make nice designs of it. Man, yes, I'm a soap maker, but I'm an artisan, okay? An artisan. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with our giraffe soap. This soap came out beautiful, but you see what I mean when I'm talking about that turmeric, that deep, rich, burnt orange that can come out? But you see the African black soap, you see the design and the interest is giving giraffe slash tree. It's giving put me on before you drink your coffee because you're going to be bright and clear face today. it came out really nice i love that the african black soap is just embedded in it just like a tree trunk i love pushing myself a little bit i think i could have pushed myself harder but this is a great start to incorporate in Af raw african black soap in cold process soap these designs came out beautiful almost everybody i know has some type of face product or soap that they had to use or used to use when they were little because of a parent or an elderly person told them it was good for their face. Do you have that? Like, do you guys have like a special product you use on your skin because your parents or your grandparents or an elder in your family told you? Tell me the ingredients. Now here is the recipe that I use to make these soaps. Just as an FYI, anytime that I've used raw African black soap, I do not use more than three ounces per 45 ounces of oil. Or no more than 85 grams of African black soap per one 1,275 grams of oil. All right, now we got soap cut number two out of four. Are you ready for the soap cut? All right, now hold on to your latasanina. <laughs> nice, look at the African black soap. She's peeking through. She's like, I'm the star, let's go. The Himalayan rhubarb, you see it peeking out, the little pinky pink color. I wish it was a bit deeper. Next time I'll put more in there, but this came out beautiful. Guys, it came out even better when I beveled it. Oh my goodness. But I think this was a beautiful incorporation of African black soap. I can't wait for you guys to see soap cut number three. Now this is soap cut number three. I didn't show you how I made it, but look at that. Now, <laughs> this is giving me a very geometric uh, design. <laughs> it's, I love it. I love how different it is. However, the intention was for the African black soap portion to be in the middle and then the rest of the soap to surround it. And the African black soap had a mind of its own, which is fine. <laughs> This came out really cute too. This one also grew on me. Now I don't want to say it grew on me, but 
I liked it when I beveled it I liked how it came out better I actually re-blended some of the soap in it so that's why you see some of the white in the blue because I've reused some of the scrap soap scraps inside of it to give it a more textured look and I really liked how it came out some of the African Africa shaped African black soap soaps <laughs> that I made and these came out beautiful the Africa shape looks just glorious it is so beautiful to see the African black soap in the soap itself as with the other soaps it needs some beveling and some cleanup but it looks absolutely beautiful soap cut number four shout out to you if you made it this far this one came out so beautiful. Are you ready for this soap cut? All right now, hold on to your Tanzania. Boom, boom, oh my heavens. This looked like a beautiful beach in Africa. Can you name a beautiful beach in Africa? I heard Zanzibar had some of the most beautiful beaches in Africa. I know there's tons more beaches. I don't know if you even knew that Africa had beautiful beaches, but they do. I would love to go to Zanzibar, but look at how beautiful that African black soap is complementing the blues and the whites in this soap. I love not only how the design came out, I loved how the bevel came out. I loved everything about the soap. The tops look like layers of water. It just really came out beautiful, you guys. If you're interested in seeing how I made this soap, I will release another video after this one showing how I made it. I just didn't include it in this one because this video would have been super long. beveler and I know I keep talking about it but yes I have a video out on it look at the corners look how it ties into the overall design of this soap and I realize it's like a trick you can make it look 100% smooth like the third soap if you look at it it looks smooth all the way around but the bevel just always just ties everything together just when you think your soap is not doing it for you when you bevel it it just ties it all in as every single time I use this beveler I find that I create a new design that I've never created before but look at these soaps shout out to Africa let's go Africa shout out to Africa this raw African black soap is just bringing all these soaps up to a different level all of them came out nice, especially with the additives of the rice milk and the aloe vera, the kale and clay to pull out the impurities in your skin. Let's go. What are we doing? Now, if you have not seen my rice milk soap, I'm going to link it right here. If you haven't seen my other African black soaps, click below. Listen, protect your energy, you guys. I will see you on the next video. Ciao for now.